Hola clase, ¿listos? Vamos a empezar. Turen en sus libros de textos a la página 53 y 54 y vamos a aprender mandatos. Mandatos significa commands. The first type of command form you will learn is the to form. Now, we use the same verb usually if we say I speak, we would tell somebody, speak, do it. And if you're talking though to a little person and you're using this command form, you want them to do something, you can't just use the to form. Sorry, but it gets a little bit more complicated than that. Instead of using the to form, the command form, if you're talking to a person who is younger than you or who is the same age or who is your sibling or something, you would use the usted form. <clears throat> so, if our conjugation table is hablo, hablas, hablo, hablamos, hablais, hablan, you would choose the usted form. So if I were talking to somebody younger than me, if I were talking to you student, and I was telling you to do something, I would say habla, speak. Same with all the forms. If I were to tell you to close your book, you individually, I'd say cierra el libro. If I wanted you to eat something, I would say come, eat. If I wanted you to live, I'd say vive. If I wanted you to obey, I'd say obedece. If I wanted you to play, I'd say juega, or, and if you were a mean person, you would say this, but of course you're not mean, so you would never say this, but if you wanted somebody to die, or something to die, you would say muere, but we won't say that. Let's look at the usted, ustedes, and two negative forms on the other whiteboard. Just when you thought things couldn't get more complicated, they do, and they will get very complicated. So please make sure, student, that you go through this video slowly, go back, look over your notes. Each item needs to be memorized completely. So remember the to form on the other whiteboard. Now we're going to look at the usted form. It is confusing at first, but with practice, I think you'll be able to get it. The usted form changes its ending, AR, to become an ER ending. And ER and IR verbs become an AR ending. This is what I mean by that. If you have the verb hablar, this verb ends in an AR. Well, what's going to happen is we chop off the AR and we substitute E. You need to use the first person form to do this. So we would look at hablo and we would change it to hable. Comer ends in ER. We take the first person form, chop off that O, and change the ER to an A. So if we were to tell, if you were to talk to me, a teacher, boss, somebody that you don't know, somebody that you look up to, an adult, you would say, if you want to say eat, you would say coma. Not come, but coma. If you wanted to tell somebody to live, this is the first person, vivo. It's an IR verb, so it's going to change to AR. So what would it be? Vive. Ah, that's right. You all know the Coldplay album, Viva La Vida? That's where it comes from. It's a command form. It says, live the life. And they're obviously using the usted form. Pensar, the first person conjugation would be pienso. So we change the AR so that it becomes ER. And now it is piense, piense. Repito comes from repetir. This is irregular. It will have its irregular change, stem change in the first person. We chop off the O, we substitute it for A, and now we've got repita. Easy, right? I know you think so. Let's look at the ustedes form. It doesn't get much more difficult than the usted form. As long as you all lock in this idea and know the usted form, you will be successful with the ustedes in two negative forms. But you must remember this formula up here. All you're going to do for the ustedes form is take what you have done with the usted form and add an end to it. Just how we say habla, hablan, to make it plural, that's what you're doing in this case. So hablar, again, if we look up here, we're going to change it. We already have hable, so we know that all we need to do is change it to hablen. The O is taken away, and we substitute this AR ending for an EN. 
this IR ending is going to become what class? That's right, AN. So this is our first person, Vangel. Remember, Vangier is irregular, it's a G verb, so we say Vangel, and then it becomes Vangan. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Aser, first person, is Agel. We chop off that O. This is going to change to a A, A, Gan. Sonreir, it means smile. So we chop off the O, we're going to replace this with an A, N. So now we have Sonrian. And that would be the command form if you're talking to people. You've noticed that I've told you uh, on a daily basis to get out your books. I use the word sakar. Sakar means to take out. But you'll notice that when I talk to you all, this changes to a Q, U-E-N. And I change that A-R ending for E-N, and I say saquen ustedes sus libros de textos. If I were to tell you to study, instead of saying estudiar, I'd say estudien. So be aware of that when I give you commands in class. The two negative will follow the same suit as the usted and ustedes form. The two negative, instead of adding an N to the usted form, you add an S to the usted form. Now remember that a two negative statement means don't do something. And it's only used for the two form. So if you're talking to your classmate and you say, eat, you would say, come. But if you say, don't eat, don't eat that, you would say, no comas, no comas eso, don't eat that. Um, if you were talking to an adult though, and you said eat, you would say coma and no coma. They don't change. There is no change in the ustedes form, no change in the usted form. Only two has an affirmative and negative command form. So let's look at this. Our verb pensar, we know in the first person it's pienso. We replace the AR for an ES. Vivir is an IR verb. We're going to change the IR for A ending and add S, no vivas. Venir is an IR ending. We change it with an A and add S, and we use the first person. Remember, venir, if you were to conjugate that, vengo, vienes, viene, venimos, venís, vienen. So we have no vengas. Comer is an ER verb. We chop off the ER, add AS, and we have no comas. Hacer, first person, is ago. Chop off that ER, add AS, no hagas. ¿Comprenden clase? Deseo que sí. Hasta mañana.